Hi, it's Alex Briggs uh, with Zupt. I do the offshore operations here, and I thought to piggyback my last video, I'd talk about what makes a good offshore surveyor, or if you're looking to get into this industry, what sort of characteristics uh, you should have. Uh, it's a bit of a strange bird when you're thinking about all the different roles that we do. You need somebody with a strong mathematical background to understand uh, datum transformations or even just uh, a traverse or measuring and how precise we need to be. Sub C just requires a keen eye to detail, like I had mentioned in my last video, uh, just double checking everything. But at, at the same time, you don't just need the mental capacity to, to do the math, to work on computers, to work all the software that we use. You also have to be willing to put on a pair of coveralls and get on the ROV skid or get offshore and be willing to work in some pretty harsh environments and deal with rain, grease, uh, getting everything ready to go off deck. Uh, if it's a rain or shine situation, then you might be getting soaked out there, getting stuff ready to go. So uh, it's sort of a double faceted role where you have to be mentally dialed in. You have to be very capable of doing the mathematics required, but you also have to be willing to travel. You have to travel the world. Sometimes a lot of our work is in West Africa. Uh, so it's really not just a decision for yourself, but it's your family as well. I mean, you should, if you're thinking about doing a job like this, you should make sure that your loved ones and the people close to you are on board as well because it's definitely a job that's exciting, it's fun. Uh, you see some places you would never think you would see, but uh, just make sure everyone's okay with it. Make sure you have a strong mathematical background uh, as well as the willingness to travel and see some crazy places. Thanks so much.